Welcome to Bears and Exile. Today is November 3rd, and this is the market overview looking at the Dow, SPX, VIX, TNA, UUP, FXE, GLD, and SLV. Okay, well, we had all kinds of news, and we had a big uh, update in the market. 208 points, and uh, all kinds of things to look at. Uh, all kinds. Uh, here we have the Dow. And it closed above the 200-day moving average. Uh, we were saying that if that was going to happen, that is uh, very bullish. And uh, we were hoping for it to uh, stall out and uh, and not break it. But it did. And that's what it is. Um, Short-term moving averages pointing up. We still have uh, the middle Bollinger Band uh, towards the bottom of it. But it is not... Um, it is not completely below the short-term moving averages. It is uh, it is still crossing into them. If we were to have a uh, sizable down day tomorrow, then uh, we would most likely get the cross into having it above the short-term moving averages, and that would be bearish. But uh, we need to see. We need to see if this is going to turn around or if we're going to get a complete large green candle above the 200-day moving average. And, of course, we have this previous high. Um, and that's what it is. That is what it is. Essentially a flat line still in the long-term moving averages. Uptick on CCI, uptick on the fast stochastic, downtick on slow stochastic. Still pointing up on the 14-day RSI moving average. We still do not have our hook. Uh, side tick on the RSI down, I'm sorry, uptick on the MACD, uptick on the MACD histogram. They really are pulling a rabbit out of the hat with the uh, cancellation of the... Um, referendum on the Greece Euro deal. But that story is still developing and uh, tomorrow is the actual vote. So um, that's going to be very interesting. That's certainly a market mover. Could go either way. SPX, unlike the Dow, it is still below the 200-day moving average and we have a little ways to go before it is retested. Uh, uptick on the CCI, downtick on the uh, slow stochastic, uptick on the fast stochastic, Still don't have our hook on the 14-day RSI moving average. A uh, slide to uptick on the RSI, uh, slight uptick on the histogram and the MACD. Very similar to the Dow, but 200-day moving average. Very important. The VIX. Okay, this is this is really interesting. We have an uh, inverse hammer. The short-term moving averages, yeah, they are uh, pointing down for the moment. We have the middle Bollinger Band right in the middle of them. We have a collapsed uh, long-term moving average bar. Downtick on the CCI, downtick on the fast stochastic, uptick on the slow stochastic. And 14-day RSI moving average is almost flatlined. We're getting really close to that hook. Side tick on the RSI. I think that is a side tick, no slight down tick on the MACD histogram, and the uh, MACD itself getting a side tick as well. Total mixed bag, it is above the 200 day moving average, it is above 30, very important, psychological. So, uh, will the inverse hammer produce any kind of a reversal? It's entirely possible, um, but we have to see. TNA, nice move. Ended with a hammer. You can see the short-term moving averages are trying to power their way out of the long-term moving averages. Middle Bollinger Band line right in the middle of all of it. Uptick on the CCI, uptick on the 14-day RSI moving average getting into overbought territory, uptick on the fast stochastic, downtick on the slow stochastic, side tick on the RSI, uptick on the MACD, uptick on the MACD histogram. Hmm. Uh, moving right along to G... No, not GLD. UUP. Okay. We have essentially a, an ugly candle. We have a decent sized tail at the bottom. We have a big long tail at the top. And a fat real body. Notice, we closed right at the 200 day moving average. That's... Uh, very important. It does give some hope to bears that uh, this is not going to be destroyed, but but um, if we were to gap below that tomorrow, it will be a very bad sign. Notice we still have the middle Bollinger Band below the short-term moving averages. Should help provide some lift, and uh, as they attempt to overcome the long-term moving averages, downtick on the CCI, downtick on the fast stochastic, uptick on the slow stochastic. 
we still are not really bottomed out yet on that 14-day RSI moving average. It has not flattened out. It's still pointing down. It is uh, Its angle of descent is improving, but it is not quite there yet. Down tick on the RSI, getting right to 50. Up tick on the MACD, and we're getting the cross, bullish cross on the uh, MACD and a uh, slight uptick in the MACD histogram. So while the bears certainly have a uh, bloody nose at the moment, they are not done. They are not done. Um, they still have a chance. They are still in the game, but uh, but they could lose very quickly. So uh, this is a very interesting time. Um, FXE Hammer closed above the. Uh, major price consensus level you can see the short-term moving averages uh, just hanging out in the long-term moving averages We're still below the 200-day moving average uptick on the CCI very very high on the 14-day RSI moving average uptick on the slow uh, fast stochastic downtick on the slow stochastic side tick on the RSI still in negative territory uh, looking for that uh, bearish cross to complete on the MACD and a downtick on the MACD histogram so that hammer is that going to be all she wrote we don't know it's going to be uh, governed by the NDEs tomorrow and while we are at a point especially with the Dow where it looks really bad for bears and they could get squeezed very very easily by the same token the people that have bought looking for a squeeze if we were to reverse course and uh, drop back below the 200-day moving average and uh, UUP goes up, FXE goes down, and the VIX goes up since it's above 30, um, you could see selling really bad. Um, but we shall see. GLD, our second VIX, even with the dollar going uh, down and, uh, you know, fear increasing or decreasing however you want to see it I think uncertainty is is uh, fluctuating we ended with a hammer a little small hammer we are getting some excessive separation in the short-term moving averages um, they have a little bit of wobble but uh, nothing too major but uh, it is going up and uh, we were saying two days ago how you break through the long-term moving averages you come back for a test and you bounce off of it that is a good sign um, that is what's happening. CCI very high, stochastics getting up there, 14 day RSI moving average, plenty of room to run. Uh, clicking up on the RSI, clicking up on the MACD, clicking up on the MACD histogram. Not too shabby at all. SLV, our second, uh, not our second VIX, that's gold. Poor man's gold, silver. Also a hammer. Um, we said that we were looking for it to challenge and uh, wear away at the bearish bar that does appear to be happening. Uh, side tick on the CCI, down tick on the stochastics, up tick on the 14 day RSI moving average, still some room to move, not huge, but some. And uh, side tick on the RSI, slight down tick on the MACD histogram, up tick on the MACD. So everything depends upon tomorrow everything depends upon what Greece does with that no confidence vote and uh, depending on if it's up or it's down um, I don't really think that it's positive up or down but uh, it varies in degrees on how bad it is depending on whether it is up or down and there you have it as always all investing decisions are your own this chart and video are for entertainment educational and consumption of time purposes only thank you